I always loved fashion. My mum says when I was a tiny little girl, I was very stubborn about getting the dress and the shoes and the socks out and saying, you know, even as young as like three or four, I, right. I designed the look. Right. And I think I realised quite early on that what you wear can completely change how confident you're feeling or the persona that you're putting off. So how did you actually fall into fashion? Because you didn't go to college for fashion, no. right? You Good were English. research, Jeremiah. Listen, I do my homework, okay? Yeah. So you're an English major. Yes. How do you end up uh, falling into fashion the way you have? I am at heart a massive bookworm and geek, and I love novels, poetry. So I studied English literature at university and... Um... So you're unattractive and not smart. <laughs> Just, Look, I, a, I will a, always fly the flag for being a bookworm. <laughs> and I I really enjoyed doing that degree and having that experience rather than doing something vocational that was uh, funneling me towards a specific career. Yeah. That being said, my dad is a writer. He's a travel writer. I was very inspired as I grew up watching him craft stories. And I was very lucky I got an internship at Elle right away. Like right. there was a fashion features department. Right. And so that was like, okay. Now I know where I want to be. It had to have felt special for you to do your first book because it is kind of the alchemy of everything that is precious and important to you. Um, something that we noticed is that you dedicated it to your parents. Explain to me the importance of them and kind of what that felt like to do your first book. It, what you hit the nail on the head, it was an alchemy of everything I'd worked towards and it was a huge ambition, life ambition fulfilled. I'd always wanted to write a book, as you see from the bookshelves behind you. Um, I like paper rather than um, e-books. I, oh, I still buy books. I need to smell a book. Same, you know, and I need actually. It, I need it, yeah, the weight of it in my like carry on. Me too, and yeah, I dedicated it to mum and dad. You know, I was 10 years old, he actually gave me a bookmark that I still have and it's says you can achieve anything for which you have unlimited enthusiasm. One of the things that I love about your blog and the stuff that you do with fashion related is a lot of it's kind of based around this whole idea of self-esteem and boosting it. When did that become important to you? It was uh, as soon as I moved to LA, I was very lucky to get a show called Plain Jane. I would take a young girl who was like a mouse of a creature. I spent a week with her and we would do everything from jump out of a plane if that's what she needed to kind of wake up um, to dating advice and dating training, how to flirt with a guy. And then of course the fashion and the beauty side of it. So in that process, I realized that I loved um, and wanted to do more of this confidence boosting for women. Right. How has it been for you, the transition from, I mean, obviously you still do television, but your blog is like massive. What has that transition been like for you? <sighs> I love everything I get to do. And I, you know, I started the blog more because I missed writing mm -hmm. than because I thought, hey, this could be a huge new business avenue. And right. luckily, the way the industry's gone, it's turned into my main job. Front row is my baby and it's uh, our team's growing and, you know, we kind of make it, it's up to us to make it what it is. Right. That's very satisfying. Yeah. Are there any certain trends that really matter to you? Not like life or death, yeah. but I love, I mean, I just, the, the Devil Wears Prada quote comes to mind, florals for spring, groundbreaking. groundbreaking. But I am really into florals again, and yeah. old school florals, chintz. Yes, me I too. I want Granny's tablecloth me on me. It's chic right now. It's so chic. Yeah. I'm thinking about, actually, with this one room we haven't done yet, I might have to get your opinion. So you're obviously adventurous with color when it comes to fashion. Do you find that you feel and play with color differently when it comes to your home? Because you have a pretty neutral palette here. Home is, is tranquility yeah. and calm. And although I'm really open to spots of color, be it books on the coffee table or flowers, that's, that's the extent that's of it. That's it, nothing yeah. loud or crazy. No. If you could give one piece of advice to the girls and boys that are reading your blog and on all of your social media, what would it be? have a sense of humor about it all. You know, I think design, whether that's interiors or fashion, is life-changing, is super important, but at the same time, it's important to have fun with it, experiment, make it your own. You can take my advice or you can leave it, as long as you're smiling about it.